moment. My friend's growing at another moment. They so, sent me away without a two. Oh, she's giving kisses! We have tornado warnings. <laughs> had to have um, a little bit of a bone graft. She had to have a gum graft. I leave for college in two days. Okay, it's another day. We should tell this Brennan, and this is Daddy-O. Um, Ryan is- I got, look out, for my hair is. Uh-huh. <laughs> moment. <laughs> Friend is growing another moment. Huh? Not officially yet. It's already on its way. Um, hey, it's a great day. It's another day in which to excel. Ryan Ardo is working. He got up at five o'clock this morning without any assistance. Too. <laughs> yeah, he's probably dragging right now, but he got up and got to work uh, by 5.30 this morning, which is great. He rode his bike there. And then uh, Brennan and I are just discussing our day. The girls are somewhere in Maryland, I think, and um, we're getting it done. So planning our day. Brennan and I are gonna work out. I'm doing some business and then, um, I'm doing a little bit of business, but mostly golf. <laughs> He's gonna go up and golf with his friends this afternoon. So it's gonna be a great day. Let's head back to Maryland and see how Katie's doing. Good morning and welcome to the vlog. Katie and I are in Maryland right now and we are on our way to Katie's dentist appointment. She's so very excited. We'll explain it more about it a little bit later, but we're heading in right now. Our appointment's at 11.30 and it's 11.29. So we'll talk to you guys in a minute. Um, and tell you all about it. Yeah. There's Kate in the chair, and that is her dental situation right there. She always does all kinds of pictures while she's in the chair. This is our favorite prosthodontist, our only prosthodontist, but she's absolutely amazing. And you could say, why do we not have one in Florida? Well, because the one here is super amazing. She's done such a good job with Katie's teeth. We'll mm. talk a little bit later about how we ended up here. There we go. <laughs> Any better. Yeah. We're in Maryland and um, it's just Katie and I and we came up just for one night because I had to check on the house. My nephew's living in the house for a bit while he looks for a place because he just got a job here. So we came up to see him, check in on the house, we had a few things we need to do and Kate had a dentist appointment. So now that we're here, there, we've realized there's a few more things we need to do like Kate um, is- I'm dentist glue on my nose. Kate's gonna be doing um, some work with a company, uh, like a clothing company, so she's gonna go see them this afternoon. And so we decided, and I have a few more things to do, and I wanna see some friends. So we were able to move our flight. If you guys didn't watch yesterday's vlog, oh yesterday God. our flight was um, quite crazy, chaotic because of weather. So because of that, we were under a flight advisory, so we were able to move today's flight to tomorrow, so we're staying one extra day. Yay! I can't believe we're with Molly. Yay! But this is the deal. Um, if Ow. you've been, if you're an OG fan, you know that like between Brennan, Katie, and Ryan, we went to the doctor probably twice a week for all through middle school and high school. Between dentists and teeth being pulled and braces and sprained ankles and broken toes. I think toes. that was more elementary school, and middle school. And then high school, for when you were in high school, Ryan was going through all of this stuff. Oh, yeah. You know I mean? So anyway, so always after we go to the doctor, we go to Chick-fil-A. So today we are making the um, traditional Chick-fil-A run. And we'll so explain more about why I have a fake tooth when I get my temporary fake tooth back in. So tomorrow, so this afternoon actually at four, we're going back because they made Katie a retainer. So we're gonna go pick up that retainer and then we'll explain the story. So stay tuned to find out how that all happened with Katie's tooth. Um, and that's it, so we're Chick-fil-A. See you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, she's giving kisses. <gasps> Molly is taking care of this little dog named Cindy. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> You're, oh my gosh, she, you love the camera. Like yes, you do, you're staring at it. She's so cute. So we're gonna try to convince Mike that we, we wanna take this dog <laughs> for Molly. <laughs> uh, Molly is in a, a foster a foster mommy. Look how cute. Molly works at a vet clinic. I do. With yes, shrubs. yes, she does. Look how cute she is. She's <laughs> Remember back in her videos when she was just a little tot? Yes, and now she's like all adult and grown up and doing her thing. Mm -hmm. when we got, remember when we did those things at Arnold Elementary at the end of the year where we were like, well, I want to grow up, I want to be. I did say I want to be a vet. 
You did? I manifested that. Perfect, Molly. Thank you. That's awesome. What did you say you wanted to be, Katie? Do you remember? Probably personal business. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Probably, yeah. laughs> uh, you guys in the long line of veterinarians? Yeah. There's like eight of us. Yeah, there's lots of veterinarians. Comment cool. below whether you guys think we should um, adopt <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I was just about, like, I swear to you, that was on my mind. I was like, I probably shouldn't say that on the video, but, like, I was going to say that. Someone um, wanted to be president? Yeah, she beat me out for marriage. Oh, so. right. <laughs> Not a big deal. Um, Not a big deal. I was just wasn't born to be a leader, I guess. No, you were, Kate. You came in second. Your brothers were both mayors. So I'm just going to say Game no. first, you're last. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, just as a small <laughs> reminder. <laughs> Hi, I can't stop filming you because you're so darn cute. Oh, I too. know. I'm so excited. Is she wagging her little tail? <laughs> Hi. So Do you excited. taste Chick-fil-A? Your breath is really bad. Katie, Chick -fil -A. your breath smells really, really bad. She has like a little mask on. Like, look at her little eyes. She has like a little um, superhero mask. Yes, they're so cute. Who's the Elasta girl? She's like, well, no. Who's the other Violet? You could call her Violet. Violet's cute. Violet's right? cute. Because she has a little mask on, like Violet. Oh, that's cute. Hey, buddy. Aww, I love her little doggy. We travel too much, though. I really don't think it would be very oh nice gosh. for the dog. We would travel way too much to have I a doggy. Dog really? Everywhere you go? She's, she's, a, bag dog. she's a bag dog. Oh. She'd be oh. <laughs> okay. She'd be my sidekick. Wouldn't she's very mellow. She's Wouldn't you buy yeah. She's so go with the flow like me, aren't you? Mm. We'd be late everywhere we went. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to go back to the dentist to get like, Katie's oh God, thing. All right, we're back at the doctor now. Kate just got her new retainer. Let me see. She's looking at it. How's it feel? Feels fine. You guys, you probably won't even be able to guess which tooth is prosthetic. I really can't tell. Smile. Yeah. No, can't. Okay, I'm interrupting this video for just a minute because I realized in editing that we never explained the story about Katie's tooth. So I'll give you sort of the short version and you can see her TikTok and I will put the t her TikTok in here. She did a TikTok about it, um, but she didn't really get into depth about it. She more or less talked about sort of the aftermath, but I'll tell you what happened. In 2014, so I believe she was in fourth grade. It was the spring of fourth grade. We got this phone call um, from the school nurse that Kate was in like serious pain. So we went in, we got her, it was a headache. We tried to give her some um, you know, medicine, some aspirin or whatever, try to get rid of her headache, didn't go away. So she kept, then she was like, oh, it's kind of like in here, mom. So we took her immediately to the dentist, um, a, a, like, got in right away because um, she was in so much pain. So we got to the dentist and she's like, oh my gosh, I don't know what it is. I see x-rays, but I don't see anything there. So I think um, I wanna send you to the endodontist. So we immediately get in the car and drive to the endodontist. We go to the endodontist. They're like, we can't do anything for her. We don't know what it is, but it's something crazy. You need to go to the periodontist, I think was the next one. So we're like, oh my gosh. And then they sent us to the University of Maryland Medical Center. So we went there and we got there when it was the end of the day. And anyway, it was a, it was, it was a two day ordeal, a two day ordeal. So finally at the university of Maryland medical center was like a, it's a teaching hospital. So they have all these different doctors there. So literally you could go from the dentist to the orthodontist, to the periodontist, to the endodontist, to the prosthodontist, all in one like building. Um, so when we got there and they finally, they had us there pretty late at night and they realized what the situation was and like, we need to take we need to take this tooth out. We need to come back tomorrow. So we came back the next day and had an appointment in the morning and she went in and got some x-rays. And what it was is she had, okay, so she had her baby tooth, right? It was there, but her adult tooth was above and her adult tooth was coming in, but it was misshapen. So it was large, it was like sort of like large and, and round. So when it was, it was moving. So it was really causing all kinds of pain. Um, so they had to take out her baby tooth and then they had to extract the adult tooth, which left quite a bit of a hole in her gum. Then she had to have, um, well, she had to wait until that bone built back up. So she had to wait like six, six months, maybe a year until the bone built back up in her gum. So it could then, um, be shaped correctly and then like hold to like hold, hold a tooth that could support 
holding the other two teeth not from coming in. Oh my gosh. So anyway, so long boring story short, um, she had had to have bone graft. She had to have a gum graft. And then she had to have, um, she had a flipper for a while, which is basically a prosthetic tooth on a retainer that she would put in and take out when she would eat. It was such a big, like, responsibility for a little girl and such um, a pain in the butt, to be honest, for a little girl. So it was really like she had to, every time she ate, she had to take it out. So she couldn't even have a snack without like taking it out, brushing it, putting it back in. It was just really, she couldn't pop anything in her mouth, whatever. So then, um, then after she had a flipper for a while and then they did a Maryland bridge and a Maryland bridge is it's just funny that it's called Maryland. It was in Maryland. It has nothing to do. I don't think, I think it was developed in Maryland, but it's not because we lived in Maryland. But anyway, so that, what that is, is she had a prosthetic tooth with, it had like two wings on the side of it that attached to, in the back to either tooth on either side. And it lasted for about five years for her. It fell out a couple of times, but she was able to go back to the prosthodontist and get it um, glued back in. So now she's in a situation where she, um, the, that bridge is old and her teeth have grown or moved a little bit because she's growing. So she needs to have another one put in. So we're going um, in a few weeks to get that another one, another bridge put in. And then eventually she'll have a, um, an implant. She'll have an implant, but the dentist doesn't, or the prosthodontist wants to wait till she's about 30 because she said that as you grow, your teeth get longer. Like, you know what I mean? You say the long end of the tooth, right? Your teeth will grow down. And if she gets the implant now at the same level of her teeth and then her teeth grow down, that'll be too short and you don't want to go through that twice. So she um, is going to have a bridge. So comment below if you guys have any dental issues. She has, she was so terrified to talk about it and would, didn't want anybody to know for the longest time. Like I'm so proud of her now. She literally just started talking about it um, a couple of weeks ago uh, on um, social, but she's realizing now so many people have reached out to her and said, oh my gosh, I have the same situation. Or I have a different situation. And actually, we found out that it's hereditary. Her cousin has the same thing. And her grandmother has the same thing. So I, we didn't realize it until we started seeing this pattern. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is hereditary. So yeah, let us know if you guys have any tooth issues um, or teeth situations that you've had to take care of. I know it would make her feel better. And um, she thought it was important now that she has the confidence to talk about it, to let people know that like, this is, this is a thing. Like it's, it's okay, right? This happens. So anyway, that's the tooth situation. Back to the video. Good afternoon, everybody. Okay, so this is what happened. Now we're on the flight heading home. We didn't film, finish filming last night because I had the craziest day in the whole wide world. I had friends over for dinner last night who I haven't seen in a long time. Then, like, I invited them to come over. So I went out and I got the food. Because I wasn't going to make us. We were having pizza and I don't make pizza. Anyway, so I got the pizza and everything. While I'm at the pizza place, a torrential, like, the skies opened. I don't know if you were in this area yesterday, but we had tornado warnings. <laughs> Huge amount of rain. So by the time I got home, I was, like, scooping, like, I can't even explain. I wish I had video of it, but I couldn't. There was so much water, and the water was building up, like, right next to our basement door, and, like, lapping at the door, like, trying to get in. I was like, what the heck? I think it's because it all came down so fast, and it overwhelmed our covers and all that stuff. So I take the phone out, and I'm calling, like, Anyway, I got water in my phone, so now my phone doesn't work. So I didn't film last night, so now I'm on Katie's phone because she slept over at Molly's house. So now we're back on the plane, we're getting ready to go back to Florida, and that's all I got for. So I think I need to get a new phone. So it's just occurred to me that I leave for college in two days. And you're not packed. And I'm not packed! And I don't even have all my stuff yet. And we just so, got from Maryland. In true Katie fashion. <laughs> Um, we're, we're doing things around. last minute. Last minute stuff. Yeah. I also haven't showered in like two days. Gross, gross, gross. Bro. I'm... Did you brush your teeth? I brush my teeth four times a day. Good girl. Maybe I'll get a tongue scraper today. Oh. Remember, remember we had a tongue scraper discussion? Yeah. Everybody was commenting that I should get a tongue scraper. It's like, they said it's like the difference between vacuuming the carpet and like scraping, like scraping it with a comb. I know it's disgusting. Yeah, it is kind of gross. Yeah. Okay, so where, where are we going? What are we going? We're going to. We're going to Dollar Store, Sam's Club. What was after that? Target, maybe if need be. 
Because look, at these are Katie got these from her friends. Bro, the time is counting down though. Like, we have okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We have so people coming over prints, for dinner. These are some prints that Katie got from Campbell. Okay, and my bathroom. Cam bought them and they didn't want them, so they're, she's gonna put these in her bathroom. So she needs to get frames for these. We're gonna try to get a bath mat that's either this color or this color because she has a curtain that is this color. And I need towels. And she needs towels. She needs towels and, and an iron. And an iron. Right, we have the cutest little ironing board for her. Okay, you ready? Yes. Let's go. Great guy. I right, made it to Sam's Club. We he took care of some, what do you call it? Um, frames earlier, and now Katie is an oat fiend. I am an oat fiend. Look at this. Okay, let's just break this down. Okay. This is $12, right? Yeah. For two five pound bags, 110 plus servings of oats. Mm -hmm. Do you know, like, the, how cost effective, how cost -effective yeah. that is? And they're good for you. And they're good for you. Yes, it just takes a little effort to make them. Barely. Yeah, all Barely. right. That's really good. Yeah. Hey, will you scan those? Oh. Yeah, we'll scan them. Brain rat salad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filling with Kate's phone because I told you guys mine <coughs> broke in the rain last night. Here we go. Let's scan them. All right. So Katie scanned them on an app called Yucca. And I've been using Yucca. This is not an ad, by the way. I love this app. It tells me if there's dangerous additives, like risky additives. It tells me if there's like too many, well, see, here's the thing that I really, I'm really looking for the additives, right? Cause I don't want to have all that nasty stuff inside of me. And like, I and think food. this is food, and food or this is like, and shampoo and yeah. like skincare products. It tells you like if there's risky stuff in it, that's, that could like harm you like permanently. Um, it tells you that. So if it's like these, if it, this is where a bit too caloric, I rated them a 90 out of a hundred, but I'm like, I'm not, not looking for the cal I'm not caring about the calories. I'm caring about the chemicals. Yeah. So. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Throw it in. Throw them in. We have emergency, some tamps. I'm gonna squish my prints. Oh yeah. Quaker oats. Mm -hmm. Shampoo, conditioner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This heavenly. Oh, oh it is so fluffy. My bathroom. Two things of Tremex because one of them is going to mom, um, or the house. This, which I'm really excited to try. Um, some snack on the run, <laughs> bumblebee. Um, things because Tuna. for yeah. recruitment, I need some snacks. She has to keep energized. Some mandarin mm. oranges and some Nature's Bakery fake bars. That is a great looking grocery yeah. cart. Yeah. Are we done here then or now? We are done, I think. Yeah, I think here. it's time to we head on over to Target and yeah. then we'll be done. Ending the night tonight upstairs with Brennan and Ryan and Mike. We returned home and we're so happy to see them. We played some euchre and unfortunately Brennan and I lost to Mike and Dad. Or Mike and Mike Yay, and Ryan. Brennan. We're gonna take them on again though, Brennan. We're not gonna let it end this way. Don't leave me uh, this way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, anyway. So again, I'm still filming with Katie's phone because mine is Damn. Broken. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that's. So I was just thinking about. I'm like, I know I need to do something tomorrow. What is it? I need to go to the Apple Store. Mm -hmm. I seems all you too. Made you happy today. Oh my gosh, you be getting home safely. Thank you, sweet love. I Yay. appreciate that. Oh, that's so nice. I'm going with Brennan. Oh, great. Yeah, Brennan. Brennan had an awesome golf day, and you getting home safely. Thank you very much. Wow. I love it. And winning in Euchre. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Excellent. What made me happy? Katie's downstairs doing the laundry. What made me happy today? was getting home on time and seeing these guys. It makes me very happy that the whole D5 is together again. Katie has been packing and packing and packing for school. She leaves in two days and uh, has about a week's worth of packing to do. So most of our day tomorrow is gonna be spent pa packing probably and um, taking her away. There she is. What made you happy today, baby girl? Um, I had a peaceful flight home. Yeah. I slept the whole night. It was so nice. You did. You did sleep the whole night. You know what I watched? I watched the movie The Bodyguard. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that? If you are a little OG, a little older like me, um, it's with Whitney well, Houston. Guys do? <laughs> do you guys know the movie Bodyguard? Whitney Houston and um, Kevin Costner? And Joe. Yeah, very good movie. Uh, I mean, not the best acting or anything like that, but or even the best plot, but it was engaging. <laughs> but I liked it. It was a movie that I watched, and it was free on Southwest Airlines, so I watched that. And I don't normally watch movies on flights, but I did this time. It was great. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you've seen The Bodyguard and if you liked it. 
and um, if you watch movies on flights or what you guys do on flights. And also, what made you happy today? We've got a lot of things that you can comment on. If you don't, like, pick one, two, three, do all of it. Also, in the meantime, um, watch this video right here because I put this video up yesterday and it's not getting very many views, but it is such a good video. It is of us doing the Cousins um, Chef Challenge. It was so much fun. So take a peek at that and see you guys later. Bye.